Hello, this is the getting started guide for ebook store plugin for WordPress. What we're going to show you here is how to do the initial setup and start selling your ebook. We're not going to go to each of the options, we have different videos for each of them, but we're just going to demonstrate the most important first steps. So, this is a default configuration. What we have here is our settings page that's under settings ebook store. Here we need to go and enter a PayPal account that will receive the payments. In our case this is our company account that we're going to use for testing. So let's say we just enter that account and we click save. From here we're going to ebook store ebooks. We have created a first test ebook that we're going to use in this video. How we created this ebook is pretty straightforward. We enter the title, enter the description, uploaded a main PDF file, and the completely optional zip, mobi, txt, mp3 ebook, epub files. We also uploaded a cover image, ebook preview file which can contain the first few pages of your ebook and the side image for the 3D effect. So once you have selected all of these files and you click update, you have pretty much done everything you need to do at this point. You can access the ebook directly on its URL, just like a post or a page and the customers can start orders from here. But let's say you want to embed this inside another page. So let's go to create this page. We're going to play, call it the sample page. Here you can buy our ebook. Okay. For your convenience, we have created this ebook store embedding tool. You can directly click on the ebook and the code will appear. We click publish and the page is ready. We can go to the page and do a test order. We're going to start with a PayPal test order. Let's click buy and go through the sandbox order process in PayPal. Click pay and we're sent back to our thank you page when we click return to merchant. You can automate this in your PayPal account settings. Okay, so we're waiting for PayPal to confirm the order. And the order is confirmed. So you can see we have the, the main download link that we're going to click to download the encrypted PDF file. We click and the file is opened and we are required to enter a password. The password is available by default on this section of the page. This page you can completely redesign under the settings menu in ebook store. So we paste the password and we're able to open the file, which is secured, encrypted, and contains watermarks with a QR code that you can scan with a mobile and get all of the buyer information. And we have the, um, on the bottom, we have the buyer information uh, as well. Both of these can be turned on or off depending on your. Um, Prefer, uh, preferences. Okay, so the order process worked. Let's do another test order, but this time with a credit card. We're going back to that sample page. Let's click Pay with Card. Here we are using our Stripe integration. If you noticed, on the Business Edition, we have the Stripe tab under settings that allows you to accept credit cards. So we enter our email. 
because it's a valid email that have used Stripe before, we're now being sent an SMS message that contains our login password. So we enter the code. And our information is saved and displayed. We click to complete the payment. And we just paid with our stored credit card from Stripe and we're sent to the thank you page where we can copy the password, download the book and open it just like we did with the PayPal transaction. So this is how you set up and, um, and configure an uh, ebook store for WordPress in order to be able to uh, sell your ebooks. If you have any questions, let me know. My email is support at shopfiles.com. I will be more than happy to answer all of them. Thank you.